Hey y'all, this is Stuart, KB1HQS. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make yourself an emergency field expedient antenna. Now, people spend all kinds of time talking about the perfect antenna, the perfect length, the perfect materials, the perfect cost. But when you're out in the field, sometimes you just got to make whatever you have on hand. Now, in my case, I was in West Virginia doing some hiking. And uh, unfortunately, I managed to break my antenna. Um, I've bent it before, I've broken them clean off, and I've broken the tips off. Uh, fortunately, Lecky, which is the company that makes them, has really good customer service, and I've always been able to get parts. Uh, you know, I use my poles primarily for hiking. Uh, they take a lot of load off my knees and ankles and back. Uh, I wouldn't hike without them. And an added bonus on top of that is you can use them as a, an antenna mast. Uh, you can use them to hold up your tent. And uh, yeah, they just have a whole lot of different uses. And uh, you can use it for a, uh, a Yagi antenna with my uh, 3D printed parts. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty versatile. Now in my case, during this particular hike, uh, I decided to uh, get a little creative and see if I could make an antenna out of them. And of course, with the formula for, uh, for a dipole antenna or two meters, 19 inches was probably just about right. Unfortunately, I did not have a tape measure with me. Now, I did have paracord. I did have some electrical tape. I did have a uh, BNC to uh, uh, banana plug uh, adapter. And, of course, a multi-tool and some miscellaneous wire. So, I was like, well, what, how is this going to work? Like, I still don't know the ultimate dimensions that I needed for the antenna. Well, luckily for me, in the car, I had some spare uh, Goodyear 19-inch wiper blades and uh, so I was like, well, that'll work. So I used those as a uh, basically a measuring device. And uh, luckily for me, the uh, sections of my uh, uh, lucky antenna or a lucky hiking pole um, came out right about 19 inches. So with all the materials together, at this point, all I needed was a stick or some kind of a mast for it. And uh, as I mentioned, I was staying, you know, at a campsite in a park. And uh, the other campers, I think, were... Uh, trying not to watch watch me and see what I was doing, but they were definitely watching me. And so I managed to find like a three foot uh, stick and then using some uh, paracord and some serious white trash engineering, I managed to, uh, to secure them as two different uh, antenna elements. And then uh, what I did is I just used the wire to attach to each pole. Uh, now those poles are aluminum, so why not, right? That should work. And then uh, just attached to either end of that adapter and uh, ran some coax and checked out the weather channel to see if I could get any reception, which I could. I had no problem. I tried doing uh, some CQs on Simplex, but I didn't get any takers. I mean, the whole thing was only, you know, a foot off the ground at a campsite. So it wasn't really ideal for uh, making any serious QSOs, but the concept was there. So, you know, at the end of the day, if you have some materials that will radiate, it's pretty much all you need. Now, I will say having the uh, BNC to banana uh, adapter, you should have one with your kit because if you have to make some kind of a field emergency antenna like this, that thing will save your butt. So I always carry one and, uh, you know, with a multi-tool and a little miscellaneous wire and some tape, you could do a lot. So it's just a short video, just kind of demonstrating that it, your antennas don't always have to be good looking. They don't have to be expensive. Um, you can just kind of craft them up however they be, but you need to know the measurements and the uh, formulas and uh, maybe a wiper blade to have on hand i don't know at least a measuring tape so nevertheless thanks for watching and uh, have a great day seven three